happy Saturday coffee and cards day. I am super happy to be here with you guys. Welcome to Whispers in Ink and I am Jennifer for those of you that are new. Um, I do Facebook Live three times a week, particularly, especially because of the um, quarantine situation so that I can hopefully inspire you and then you can help inspire others by hitting that button. Alrighty, good morning ladies. I'm getting my iPad set up so that I can talk with you girls. I gotta make sure that the volume's down. Sue and Paula and Nancy. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So welcome to quarantine day number 3,108,028. Just saying. Oh, ladies, so much going on around here. Um, it's time to start planting the garden. It's time to... Um, plan for Mother's Day. I, I feel really, really bad because I can't go see my mom and it really does stink. Um, and we're all in the same boat. Good morning, Lynn. I have a couple of things to cover and then we're going to get right to it. But first I wanted to say thank you. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for sharing my videos. And every week, I can't do it every time, but every week I um, give prizes for um, sharing my video and for commenting. So please help others learn things and I appreciate you. All right, ladies, I want to quick go over. There's been a couple of new additions to the discount or the discontinued list. So be sure to check that list out. I will um, post it on the Facebook page later today. And I, oh, oh, I have two new birthday cards and there's one sitting in the mailbox, but I didn't want to run down and go get it because I'm feeling a little lazy this morning, just saying. So this one is from Rockville, Indiana from Sandy. And how gorgeous is that card? I love it. And you guys, she wrote the most beautiful note in there. So I'm going to have to make a, a special um, try to find her on Facebook. So I'm very, very grateful for that. And then I have another card here that is a papa or a, a fancy fold card. So, which turned out, and that one's from Monroe, Wisconsin, from a Manita. Super happy. I'm still getting birthday cards. I got. I know that the one that's in the mailbox right now is um, a birthday card because I know who it's from. And she told me that she was tardy. Did I show you guys this one? Oh, I have one more because I don't think I showed you guys this one. This one. I love this. Super, this is another demonstrator friend that I've met um, online and I helped her out with a couple of things and so she sent me this birthday card. How cute. No, Sue, you have to check that list. I'm telling you, the list is, it's getting bigger. Not too much bigger so far, but it's getting bigger. So, and I'm still working on our COVID PDF cards. I have a stack over here, but I'm not going to show them to you today because I think I'm going to show them to you on Tuesday because my goal was is to make cards from, excuse me, my goal was to make cards from all 15 pages. So that is my goal is to finish that up this weekend, hopefully. But I need a day off too. Just saying. So Joe's home tomorrow. I think tomorrow might be my day off. 
and but we'll wait and see but I'm gonna go around to the other side of the table so that we can um get some crafting done you guys hang on one second all righty moving the camera girls here we go taking you along for the ride good morning jan hopefully let's see how we did oh we did very good yay all right let's see so this card is a card that i received from my cousin for my birthday and this card is inspiring today's cards but we got to do a little work to get there just a little because what I'm gonna do because I kind of love the color choices in here I kind of took a little bit of the colors out of this and we're gonna make our own designer series paper today girls I hope you're ready. Told you we were gonna have to work for it. And I'm gonna use some colors combos that we haven't used before. And I'm kind of excited about that because what we're gonna use, we're gonna use Highland Heather and Rich Razzleberry together. And then we're gonna use Flirty Flamingo and Poppy Parade together to make our flowers. Now I wanted to make sure that this worked. So what I did is I took a piece of scrap that I had and I did some trial. This was just a little piece of paper that I had and I wanted to see how things would look together. Um, a uh, hard press off second generation, or actually I think that's a third generation. That's a second generation. And that's a straight on for the Highland Heather. And those are all, that's actually with a Highland Heather layer. This one's with the Razzleberry layer and this one's with the Razzleberry layer. So I did a little bit of playing. And... Oh, Sue, you know what? Because you never know where your inspiration is going to come from. At least that's what I say. I'm super excited about today's card because as soon as I saw my card that I got from my cousin, I knew that I wanted to try this. And I knew that I wanted to use this flower. And this flower is from the Floral Essence uh, stamp set. And Paula... I correct me if I'm wrong, Sue. You too. This is gonna stay in current, so I think we're good for that. But I'm also using the beautiful friendship. The birthdays are the best sentiment, and then I wanted to use this little greenery piece here. So somebody please double check and make sure that both of these are still gonna stay in. And I want to say yes, but I'm not a hundred percent positive. I know this one is because the punch is still staying current, but I don't know about the other one. So what we're gonna do is, that's fine, Jan, we'll catch you later, honey. I'm gonna put this color combination, the Flirty Flamingo and the Poppy Parade off to the side. And then, I'm sure, good morning, Kathy. I'm sure you guys are wondering how I did this background. Whoops, sorry, how I did this background here and I'm going to show you guys where the idea for the reversible stamps came from. Thank you, Paula. This flower, this is the outline of the flower and I'm using the back side of this stamp as that background. So all I did was flip it over. That's all that I did. Using the the full backing of this flower stamp. Now, it's not going to line up exactly correct. Um and that's okay. We don't mind that part. All right. So, I'm going to open my Highland Heather. 
And we're not going to fill up the page with the Highland Heather background because we want to make sure to leave um, space for that flirty flamingo background. But I am going to do second generation on all of my stamps. And then what I also did, because I wanted to check to see how the Flirty Flamingo worked with the Poppy Parade, I have another sample, but I'm going to use this as a piece for masking. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So I'm bringing this in, and it doesn't have to be exact, you guys. And we're going to double up the flower background. So see, we put two flowers together, and then we're going to do the same thing over here. Be sure to hold down for your three seconds, ladies, because you want to get good color. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. And you may want to use your piercing mat for this. It's kind of difficult to do it with the, and I don't care about this because that's just going to add to the, to the cool look of the pattern. So we want, we're gonna put partial one down here. And we're gonna do a set up here, I think. And this is the best part of making your own designer series paper is that it doesn't have perfect. My one suggestion for this, my other suggestion, is that you use your chamois to clean off because for sure you don't want any residual ink. And I find that unless my stamp and scrub is clean, the chamois is the best way to go. All right, so we've got one set of backgrounds. We're gonna close that Highland Heather. I'm gonna pull in the Flirty Flamingo. And we're gonna stamp that off as well. And we're gonna cluster one flower here. And good morning, Carolyn. We're going to do another one over here. And we'll do one here. And so what I'm doing is I want this to kind of look like a meadow of these beautiful flowers, but very sporadic. I don't want any specific pattern to this. Because it's it I want it to look very random. And I am stamping off every single flower. And we're going to do mostly full on this one. All right, so here's where the magic starts to happen. So there we've got the majority of our flowers, the, the base of the flowers, or the background of the flowers. And what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna flip this over now to the outline. 
I'm gonna close up this flirty flamingo and I'm gonna bring in the poppy parade first. And this, I just re-inked this, you guys, so this one is super juicy. That's better. And then we are just going to add the outlines of the flowers now. And they're not gonna be perfect, like I said. They're not gonna be perfect because it's the reverse. But I think that's what adds the coolness to it. Kinda looks like watercolor, but not. All right, so now here's where we're going to do the partial flowers. I'm going to start with this one down here. And we're going to get more of an outline on this than you think. Look at that. My Jenny Wren is singing out there. Are you guys are you guys still with me? What are you thinking so far? I know you're in awe of my fabulous design, I'm sure. Ha ha. And now we're going with the Razzleberry on the purple. Oh, Paula's clapping. Thank you, Paula. My chickens are talking out there and yes I'm doing this kind of spread out on purpose Kathy says she's in awe ha 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 you're so funny Kathy and then we're going to mask these two up like I think we're going to go this way. And then this one. Now I'm going to pull this, this lip, uh, mask off pattern back a little bit so that we can get more of that outline image closer to that flower. because of how the uh, that stamp went. See how that looks now? I think that that looks so much better. All right, how are we going to, now we're going to do the centers. And I, I tried the black, as you saw on my trial piece. Actually, that was Blackberry Bliss, and I didn't like that. But I did like, on this one, I did like the uh, soft suede in there. And I think I pressed a little bit too hard. So we're going to try to see if we can get a little more pattern out of that stamp. And we're just going to do, in each center... There we go, I like that one better. With the soft suede. I'm not holding down for three seconds in this one. So, oh, here's the cousin, Wendy. Here is your card that you, or your pattern.
to Inspired. And what I like about using that darker middle, you guys, that the background has a hole in the center. So when you use the darker background, you don't see that hole that was in the middle of that background stamp. So huge bonus. There we go. All right, so there is the flower pattern. I'm happy you could join me, Wendy, because I wanted you to be able to see this. This color we're using, the Granny Apple Green, and I'm gonna use the two-step. Oh, Lynn, thank you so much. All I can all I can tell you is that you need to try different things. Because that's all that I did, and I showed you guys. That's all I did. So I started with this, that didn't work. I started with this, and it was a little bit too dark, and then I got that. And then I, then I tried this one before I used it as a mask. Then I tried this one. I tried the dark, didn't like it, so we went with the two-step on each one. And then I put them together. A little piece of scratch paper, you guys, and it makes such a big difference. It makes such a big difference. So we're going to do, we're going to have all of our little greenery in here. And this is the greenery that's from that beautiful friendship. And we can use the mask on this as well, which I think we're going to. Get some nice greenery in here. And all I did is just fussy cut around that flower to make the mask. No, you know what, Sue, that's how we learn to do things is if I, I love to share how I started because you can't be afraid to try. And that's my biggest thing is you've got to be brave enough to try different things. And if it doesn't work, it's okay. It's only a piece of scratch paper. which is when we're making cards, I don't put my, I don't adhere the cards because if I don't like it, then I don't have to worry about ripping anything. That's my biggest thing that I try to tell people is don't assemble until you're sure you like it. And we're going round and round the flowers, just adding those little greenery. And maybe we'll add a couple, good morning, Kim. A couple pieces. We're gonna go full on greenery here. And I think we're gonna go full on greenery here. And then we're gonna mask that. And that, and that. What do you girls think? I want to leave some space because I want to be able to, I want to be able to put sentiments inside of where the flowers are at. So let's, I have, I have a fancy fold that I want to try for one of these. Oh, and I forgot to grab the big shot. Um, and then I have a regular card front that I want to do. So while I'm assembling the regular card front, I would love for you guys to 
tell me which shape, oval, circle, or nested label you guys want to cut out. That's what I, the information that I need from you guys. So while I'm cutting up this gorgeous DSP that we made, we can actually make sure that I cut it right. And we're going to get, we're going to get at least four cards out of this beautiful paper that we made, you guys. And look at that. How perfect that is. Just like that. And here's our card front. Put our sentiment down here and we're, we're amazing. Okay, so Kim says oval. Sue says nested label. And look, girls, we can get rid of a little piece of white section. And that's okay because the one that I want to do the cutout, I want the flower part. So that one worked out perfect. And I still have a whole half a sheet. Only two votes so far, oval and nested label. Girls, Paula and Sue agree the nested labels. Holy cow. While you guys, while I'm waiting for your responses, I'm going to grab the big shot because I forgot to grab it. Oh, Wendy says oval. Wendy and Sue say oval. Lynn says nested labels. Kathy, you're the only one that hasn't, that hasn't voted. Oh, it's ovals, girls. We're going to do the ovals. And it was really close. Super close. But what I think we're going to do, I think for the nested, I think we'll use the nested label for the sentiment on this. Here, we'll put a piece on there. Or, or, we can actually leave this, oh, you guys. All right, what color do we want to use for our sentiment here? And I have the two sentiments that I wanted to use are the birthdays are the best days. And I love our beautiful friendship. Those are the two sentiments that I wanted to use. What, oh, Kim likes the idea of using the nested labels. What sentiment should we use? Birthdays are the best days. Because we'll do one simple stamping, we'll do one fancy fold, and then we'll do one more. I don't have the cuts for it, but we'll do one more that's like this, but with a die cut on it. But what color to stamp that? I'm thinking I'm gonna go with the soft suede color as the sentiment. Wendy, these are amazing sentiments. I love these sentiments. And this stamp set is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. All right. So we've got for this one, I think we're going to do birthdays are the best days. And here's one thing, girls. If you are not happy and don't think that there's enough greenery in here, you can always add more after you cut it up. So I think that there should be probably a little bit more greenery. So what we're going to do is we're going to, oh, we're going to flip this over on the back side. And we're going to put a couple more little things of greenery in here. Just kind of finish it off a bit.
And it's super easy to add, but it's not hard to, or it's, in, it's impossible to take away. Ooh, where's my mask? Uh-oh, got lost. Oh, there it is. It's a little green there. So see what a difference just those couple little extra greeneries make. So there's card number one. And we're gonna use our tape runner and I can't wait to get the new tape runner. Oop, upside down. Here is that one. And we'll put this one on the Highland Heather. And there's card number one. And we'll just, I'll put uh, dimensionals. We'll do dimensionals on this one, I think. And that'll be it. Maybe a couple of rhinestones around the sentiments. What do you think? Didn't I see Caitlin come in? No, that was, yes, Caitlin. Should we do, I know what you want to do, Caitlin, but I'm thinking that this needs a little bit of rhinestones. You and Paula, because I want to show you something else that I want to do on one of the other ones, and it's going to be very cool, I promise. On the, uh, the third card that we're going to do. So here's the one. Birthdays are the best days. And I'll just put a simple uh, line, outline flower in here so that I can have a completed card. What do you guys think? Cute, right? Okay. And I think I'm going to take your pick tool. No ribbon. I know, Paula. Write it down on the calendar. No ribbon. Pretty little rhinestones. Sparkle it up just a little bit. Thank you, Wendy. It's fun, isn't it? And you inspired this. You inspired this, Wendy. I love it. Love it, love it. All right. So here's what we're moving on to the next card. And I have the pieces. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to, I'm actually going to use um, the multi-purpose glue and I'm going to glue this onto this. And I'll explain to you why I'm doing this. And Wendy, I probably would put the outline of that flower on the envelope as well. Because I like to decorate my envelopes. Not all the time if I'm in a hurry, but I do try to decorate my envelopes. All right, so. Here's this. And here's what we need to figure out now. This is the circles. I don't want this one. Don't want that one. We want this one. I need an oval. Should we do it like that? I'm thinking like that. What do you girls think? I like the size. We'll get the flower. I'm liking the size of that. It just makes it prettier, I think. And I need, ooh, I just had an idea. No, I think we're just gonna leave it like that. All right. <sighs> 
So, you know, it just came together really nicely. All right. I see thumbs up. I don't know who gave them. All right, so we're going to cut this. And I shouldn't have glued this, you guys. But that's all right. Pulling in the big shot. Pulling in the big shot. And I cannot wait to get the new machine. Every time I pull this out, I don't know about anybody else, but every time I pull this out, I say to myself, it's coming. It is really, really coming. <laughs> All right. I did not use the Thick Whisper White on this, ladies. I want to put this through one more run through to make sure, because it's got to go through two pieces of cardstock. So make sure, oh, make sure that it's popping out for the most part. We might have to help it a little bit. I should have ran it through one more time. Darn it. That's okay. Because I've got my snips right here. And there we go. We'll snip this up just a little bit. It was almost through. If I would have shimmied it a little bit, I think over a little bit, I think we would have been good. All right, so there's going to be our card front. And I want to get the scallop oval that is just bigger than that because... I'm looking for a color, girls. Hold on. Because I had I had an idea. Wrong color. Had an idea, of course, after I grabbed everything. Oh, you're kidding. All right. Oh, there's no. Ah, we're going to use that because it's already here. I can cut some more. All right. Excuse my reach. Because what we're going to do is we want the scallop that's just a bigger than this one. I'm thinking we're going to try. I think that one's going to be too big. No, nope, I like that one. All right. So we're going to use that scallop circle or oval. And we're going to cut this out. Yeah, Cassie, me and my crazy ideas, right? It is. It, it's a real thing. Ask Paula. Crazy ideas. All right. Take that big monstrosity off of the table and we're going to pull this out because we're going to put that on that. But wait till you see, it's going to be very, very cool. All right, so I will post the scores for this, but you need a regular piece of eight and a half by five and a half cardstock score at four and a quarter. And then you need a piece of Whisper White that's at five and a quarter by eight. Oh, thank you, Paula. And then, and then, and then you're going to score long at the top. You're going to score at four inches and at six inches. And that's going to be the fold. And I will, I promise, I will post this. So we're going to burnish this with our bone folder and this, oh dang it, 
we got to go through one more time with that oval. All right. I almost forgot. All right, girls, this is what we're going to do. I'm pulling out. I almost forgot. Oh, if I can get this started. I'm trying to get washi tape. There we go. Okay, that'll work. Because I want to make sure that this lines up properly with where I want it to go. And you'll understand why as soon as I start putting this together. So I'm going to secure my oval where I want it with the washi tape. And then we're going to run this through. And this will be a one-time cut. If I don't, so long as I get it on the right way. There we go. All right. So we can cut this out. We can pull that off. This is this. I'm going to put this on dimensionals. Be sure when you're run when you're doing your dimensionals that you get around the image here and probably just going to add in a couple of smaller ones around the circle or the oval. Why do I keep saying that? Just like that, to make sure that it that it stands up. And even if you don't get all the stickies off, it does help to put the dimensionals there. And you wanna be sure, good morning, Mary. You wanna be sure that you won't be able to see them or they won't hinder what you're trying to do after you take them all apart. All right, and then we're going to take this and we're going to put it to cover the oval that we cut out, just like that. And then, we're gonna burnish this. Are you girls with me so far? So far, so far, so good, right? And yes, I did put dimensionals on this piece and I'm going to center it in this. Deep breath, girls, deep breath. Here we go. We are, I'm not gonna adhere this one yet because what I wanna do is I wanna be able to put this in here and I'm gonna end up fastening it to, and free of kitty fur, I promise. Fasten it to that so you can still see the full image. But you'll be, when you open the card, you'll be able to pull the image out. How cool is that? 
What do you think? Sue says, so far, so good. All right. Best way to do this is I'm going to actually tack this in because we still have to stamp yet. So we're going to use just a little bit of tape runner to tack it in place where we want it. And we're going to fold this. Be sure that your flower, remember that purple is on the bottom side. And we're going to put a little bit of glue because with that glue, we can move things around a little bit so that... Take a deep breath. Here we go. We can open it up like that. And it can tuck in and look all fancy and beautiful. And then when you go, oh, look at that. So pretty. Fancy, fancy. What do you girls think? Woohoo! Love it. And I'm thinking that this sentiment goes down here. So you have all of this room to write to your friend. Oh, I see that, Paula. I see it. So we can untack this very carefully. And we're going to stamp this, love our beautiful friendship, here. Just like that. And then I think, because we've got the poppy and the pink on the ins on that part, I think over here, Nope, wrong way. I did it the wrong way. Good thing I was trying to... Oh, I almost messed it up. Oh, got to flip the stamp over. Oops. Hazard. That's, that's a hazard. shoot there we go <laughs> oh the struggle is real girls the struggle is real all right let's try that one more time <laughs> oh hey Linda all right where are we here didn't see you pop in here girl Try to, there we go, get that background in. And then we'll clean this. Flip it over. Pull in that Razzleberry. Yeah, more coffee. You know, I've actually had a whole cup and this much so i don't know maybe getting distracted easily this morning girls i hear the sunshine calling me all right we're going with it it's not perfect but that's all right Gonna add in our final run for the tape runner. And then we're gonna position this on the inside. Oh, 
like that and hope and pray that it lines up still and it does look at that oh shoot it's off just a smidgen that's all right that's all right we're gonna go with that all right here's card number two here's card number one and let's work on the third card but i can tell you girls i don't have card base for that don't have a card base for that one let's see how wide are we on this four and three quarters hmm four and three quarters let's do we're gonna get out of that let's do that good morning Dan all right and I'm thinking girls we need to add some greenery onto this one again I want to keep it with just these little sparse flowers because we are going to add that sentiment in there with the nested label so I think we're going to do the nested label first with our sentiment. And I think it needs to be the birthday sentiment. I need more birthday cards. I need thank you cards too, but. That's not going to be big enough. I think we're gonna have to do this one yep all right so how do I check here's another tip for you how do I check to see if sentiments what size um, die cuts I need to use I just put it on a block and I see if I can fit it in the inside of the cutout if I can do it to the inside then it's totally gonna fit Totally going to fix. But I have a fun idea. Is that going to work? No. Nope. Not going to work. That's all right. It's still a fun idea. I need to get some paper. And we're going to use... What are we going to use? I think we're going to use... I'm in the scrap bins, girls, pulling scraps so that we can die cut out our sentiment that we need. And we're going to stamp it first. And I'm going to, because we're going to put it on the Highland Heather because that's what I had. I think it needs a layer, though. Hmm. I have a Poppy Parade layer. We could do that. But... I want the sentiment to be on the flirty flamingo and we're going to stamp it with the with the poppy parade. And there's our poppy parade. Let's do this die cut up real quick. Well, you guys let me know, do we need a layer for that or not? You're really not going to cooperate today. I'm trying to line up my die cut. Because I want to show you something super cool with these die cuts. In case you haven't seen them before. Let's 
I agree, Paula says layers give it a finished look. I agree, Paula. Oh, and that popped right out, look at that. Here is the coolest part. With the nested labels, you can use this part and this part. Love that about the nested labels. So you can get your, you can leave it just like this, put your sentiment in here, or you can do this and put your sentiment in here. Yep, great ideas. That's exactly right, Kathy. You never know what's going to pop into my head. There's birthdays are the best days. But I got some fun, I still have fun ideas to go yet. So this one was, this layer was four and a half by four and three quarters. So we need a five inch by three and three quarters. There's our layer. Oh, that's totally necessary. Kim, I agree, especially my ideas. My ideas are usually doing ideas on the fly. I, I thank the heavens because I know darn well that, you know, grandma or somebody is, somebody is um, sharing those ideas. I'm going to pull in my spritzer contain my spritzer thing but we're not going to use the spritzer we are going to use the um the uh, shimmer paint i have my shimmer paint brush good morning miss sydney so happy you could join us girl sydney is my cousin Wendy is her aunt, and they live in Florida, so everybody say hi to Sydney. So excited that you could join me, Sid. All right, here's the idea. Are you ready? Let's get it a little bit heavier on my brush. Ooh, girls, I'm down to towards the bottom of the shimmer paint. That's not good. Turn it around a little bit so we can get splatter from a different direction. And we're getting crafty, so we're making a mess. All right, girls. There is our shimmer paint speckles. Can you see them? How cool is that? That's gonna have to dry before we can do. Oh, and look, I even got one on. I even got ones on the birthday, because apparently it went everywhere. So that's gonna need to dry a minute, and we're gonna work on our card base, and we're gonna do in inside. Oh, Lynn, Linda, I love this technique too, and I love. I have an aqua painter just designated an empty aqua painter designated for my shimmer paint because I use it all the time. Love, love, love it. All right, now we're gonna do the inside of this for the birthdays because you know, I know some girls, I know some girls that have birthdays coming up. Like your mom said, mom's birthday's coming up. All right, we're gonna 
do our background. And this is the Flirty Flamingo. Let's see what we get with it on the Highland Heather. Ooh, we even get it on there. Woo-hoo! We're going to clean that up. And we're going to pull in the Poppy Parade. And we're going to stamp our flower just like that. And there's our inside. One and done. Simple, simple. And I can guarantee you, because I can tell that the um, splatters on that are not dry yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to... Put that we're gonna do it backwards we're gonna put our card base on do, 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 do. and hope 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 that oh yep we're good all right woohoo there is that carefully not to mess up my splatters. And then we'll put our birthday right there. Card number three, and you girls, you know what? I can get two more cards out of that leftover piece, I bet, at least. So we're gonna see what we can what I can get out of that. But not right now. I know you girls would be happy if I did, but. And there's card number three. So we've got the fancy fold. We've got the simple one. And then we have the splatter paint with the raised up birthday. All right, ladies, here's how the fancy fold works. So happy you can join me. If you need anything, Thank you, Lynn. I I love how these turned out. Thank Wendy. Wendy's the one that sent me the card. And she's the one in, in, that inspired the idea. You guys, please don't forget your inspirations when you come across them. If you have to, write them down. I know I write them down. Because if I don't, I forget. Forget, forget, forget. If you have any questions, let me know. I will put on my blog post, I promise, I'll put all the measurements. And I know that my brother Brad, we all say thank you to Brad, that he will upload our video to YouTube. And we can, will be able to enjoy this. And I will get the items that I use put on the Facebook video too, girls. Thank you so, so much. Let me see if I can find. Here's the leftover piece. That's the leftover piece. Let's. I'll see what I can come up with for that. Thank you, ladies. Have a great day getting crafty. And I will see you again on Tuesday. Bye-bye.